Hello everyone, once again here from Tokyo. This video is going to be a bit different because we're going to be surprising my parents with a gift for people that love traveling like us. We have partnered with Tingly, which is a global gift solution company that allows you to gift memorable experiences to your friends and loved ones instead of physical things. For example, if you want to get a gift for someone, you can go to their website and choose a Tingly collection which will have a prepaid voucher that can either be an e-voucher sent by email to the person or a physical gift box. They can then choose experiences on Tingly's website in over 100 countries around the world, which includes options like sightseeing tours, adventurous activities, spa experiences and even hotel stays. Right now is the perfect time for us to use this as we are here with my parents here in Japan and we're giving them the fun together gift collection which is this gift box right here click on the link in the video description below and don't forget to use our discount code jumpingplaces10 to get $10 off on all tingly experience or hotel collections so we got a, a gift for you guys really? Yeah. yep I'm not pregnant <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure? I was wondering about that, yes. How do I open it? You just push it out, I think. Tingly, tingly. Oh my god. So it's a gift voucher where, like, in different countries you can give it to someone and the person can use the money on the voucher to arrange, like, an experience on their website. Oh, that's fantastic. That is really good. So you can check online okay. and we'll do in something passage. in the following days. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. <laughs> thank you, baby. So my parents have decided what tour we're going to be doing and they really wanted to see Mount Fuji, the famous Mount Fuji here in Japan. So do me and Carol, so it's gonna be really good. And the tour that we're gonna be doing is scenic spots of Mount Fuji and Lake Kawaguchi one day bus tour. So we just got in an Uber and got dropped off here because this is the address that they gave us to be picked up by the bus. We we're here about 20 minutes early. So we've arrived at our first stop of the tour. We're gonna do a hike to a viewpoint to see Mount Fuji. We've already seen it numerous times though on the way here. Even in Tokyo, we could already see it. I think we're going up there, right? Yeah, there is a lot of people up there. Yeah, I can actually see them already. And I think there's supposed to be a shrine, like a pretty ancient shrine. So it should be cool. And you can already get a glimpse of it back there completely covered in snow I didn't even know there'd be like a, a town or a village so close yeah I think you can stay here the hotels but I think they're pretty expensive yeah I imagine they are So pretty much at the top now, now you can see it full on. Kind of hard to get a good photo spot here or video spot. So, so busy, but we already knew that before we came here. So I think in about a week, all these will be the ch cherry blossoms. Yeah, I think it will be even more impressive, but maybe even more crowded if that's even possible. Yeah, I think it will be even busier, but there are some photos where like, all oh, this is pink and then you have that in the background. Incredible, got a beautiful pagoda. Pretty sure the guide said it's around 150 years old. Yeah, that's the shot that everyone wants. The classic one. 
the pagoda and Mount Fuji in the background. I think there is one chair uh, as well. Ah, yeah, just one on its own. Yeah, I think this is the only one. Barely anything, though. So we come to this little space behind the main viewing deck. A bit more laid back here. Super lucky how clear it is though, the skies. Zero clouds. So that mountain's around 3,700 meters high. A bit taller than that. And you can climb it. I've actually seen Gabriel Traveler climb to the top of that. But it's not the season right now with all the snow and ice. The guide said around July, that's when it begins. Be pretty hardcore to go up there. Yeah. Also with the altitude. Yeah, almost 4,000 meters. That's usually where we start to feel a bit weird. So we're heading back to the bus now. We had about an hour and 10 minutes here, which is good because you had to wait a long time to take some nice pictures. Really cute around here though, like these countryside places. And you can see it still, obviously from everywhere, so big. I don't think this is the way that we came though. <laughs> we're supposed to be down there somewhere. I don't know if we can walk on the track. No, stay off the tracks. I think we can cut through down here. Mm, no. So close. Yeah, but I don't think we can. Maybe we should go, go back. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So after a 15 minute drive, we've arrived at Lake Kawaguchi. So I think we've got like an hour and 50 minutes here. This is gonna be our lunch break too. But first we're just gonna check out the lake that's right here. So you're happy to see Mount Fuji? Fantastic, isn't it? It's, it's a dream. It's fabulous. Yeah, so even from the lake, we get great views. Day. Yeah, beautiful day. It's almost like a beach here, isn't it? Yeah. So you can even do boat cruise around here. We don't have time for that since we've got to eat. Looks like there's loads of different options. Whatever that says. Wanna head to the beach, girl? Yeah, go for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> I guess these are the boat tour boats, tiny ones. Yeah, really nice, tranquil lake. Ice cold? Yeah, but I think I was expecting it to be colder. Really? <laughs> Maybe it's already too cold outside. Yeah, I mean, our hands without gloves, they're already kind of frozen, a bit numb. 
Got some more of the shrines. See these absolutely everywhere. So I'm guessing this is a Shinto one too. So there's not actually that many restaurants here. One is already fully booked and the other one has a 30 minute waiting time and we don't have that much time. So we're gonna head to Family Mart which is kind of like a 7-Eleven. Yeah, and then we're probably gonna grab some like lunch box, the bento boxes. They usually have like proper food there though. Yeah, usually yes, not, not that bad. Probably the fanciest family mart that we've seen so far. I think it's a hotel too. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so there's a bunch of things like this that you can microwave here. Twice cooked pork, 369. Grilled ginger pork, 283. Basically the entire place is stuff that you can eat here straight away. You even got salmon. Grilled teriyaki chicken, 267. I might go for this. So I might get the garlic pepper grilled beef also. I think that's 397. What have you got there? Uh, I think this is a basil tomato cream lasagna. <laughs> So I also got a chicken tempura too. Carol got this rice thing. With salmon. Oh, the salmon in there. Yeah. And herbs. Hello. Can can all these be heated? Okay. All of them, yeah? Okay. Just the one, please. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Let the fine dining commence. Your first food mart mm -hmm. experience. Yes. What is that omelette? No idea. Yeah, it's an omelette. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it smells pretty good though. This teriyaki. A lot of sauce in there. Yeah, mine's actually really tasty. Is that fish or chicken? I think it's uh, pork. I think it's pork. pork. Yeah. Big pieces. Good. Or? No. No, it's bad food. For fast food, it's okay. Yeah. Probably better than a McDonald's hamburger or yeah. something. Yum yum miso soup. Yesterday I had three miso soups. <laughs> three? Yeah. Wow. I love it. It's really good. So we're now heading to another place for Carol to get some cheesecake, which the guide said is very tasty around here. And that's the building there. Kind of looks like a cheesecake color. I think we need to get it to go, right? Yeah. No time to eat here. Rare cheesecake. Uh, take away? Take away. Okay. Uh, this cream cheese? Yes. Uh, Just one, yeah. How much is that, the cream cheese one? 400. 400. Yeah. Let's see if it lives up to its reputation. It looks very nice. Mm. It's really good. It's really smooth and it's not so sweet. When I used to eat the cheesecakes in the US, they were a lot sweeter than this one. But you prefer it sweeter or? Um... This one is healthier, I think. <laughs> So we've stopped at another place on the lake now. It's called Oishi Park. He said that here is the classic photo of the lake, which I'm guessing might be here. You can see some sort of like reeds or, or plants. And did he say there's some seasonal flowers? He said lavender, but I don't know. Is this it? I don't know. This isn't lavender, is it? It is, yeah. Oh, it is. Up, yeah. yeah, we're not at the right season really for flowers and plants. Almost though. Yeah, maybe one week later or two weeks later. We're still going to be here though. Yeah, in Japan, but not in Tokyo. So we are going to see some amazing nature either way at some point. Got more wedding photos. I think Japan might already be the place that we've seen the most. Photo sessions, wedding photo sessions on our travels.
So this sign shows all the different coloured flowers that you could see in a different season. But then you don't get all the snow on top. So I don't know which season's better. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to choose because right now it's very dry, but other other times of the year there's no snow. I like it like this with the snow. Snow on top. Yeah. Well this one here, look, it's a bit of a mix. There's a lot of snow. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder which month that is. So is this the no tax place? Oh yeah, yeah, this is a non tax. Oh, okay. We'll buy something here. This is a this is a price with tax, for example. You have to check. This is a price not tax. Then okay. you have to pay the price non tax. You wanna get strawberries? Check here. Yeah, maybe or tangerine, I don't know. What do you want? Whichever. You choose. So the ones that we got are like mini strawberries, but judging by the color, they look good. Oh wow. It's like extra sweet. Yeah, not sour at all. Very good. Hey, don't eat them all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we're now at our last stop of the tour, which is around a different lake. I think it's called Lake Cycle. It's pretty close to the other one though. I think we just drove about 20 minutes. And this is one of the places that I was most excited about on this tour. It's supposed to be like a really old traditional Japanese village from before a period that they call the Edo period, Tokugawa period. So that period was from around the 1600s to the 1800s where Japan was ruled just under one kingdom. Before then it was like multiple kingdoms. But as I mentioned, this is even before that period. So before the 1600s, we're gonna see how the people lived, the houses and the buildings. You can already see the thatched roofs. Mount Fuji, everywhere. Oh yeah, Mount Fuji. <laughs> yeah, another angle. I've got a tiny little fall too. Oh, look at the size of the fish. So I think some of the buildings are free to enter and some you have to pay. I'm not sure what this one is. I think we saw like a, it's like a mill. Yeah. Not spinning right now though. Don't know if it still operates or if it's just for show. Sure. Another thing that's cool is a lot of you have probably heard of the new series called Shogun that's getting rave reviews. I've been reading like people saying it's better than Game of Thrones. Apparently this region is featured in that series. So we need to check that out. We were already gonna watch it, but obviously after this trip now, we're definitely gonna watch it. But it's even more relevant. Is that dried fish. Um, maybe fried, but like the very small one. Yeah, tiny. But all sorts of different kinds of Japanese food, sweets. I think I've never seen a place with so many snacks options. It's like they have everything. Japan as a whole, you mean? Yeah, Japan as a whole. Like many things to try. I want to try a lot of things. <laughs> Got the famous sake nice, here. Uh, Be drinking that at some point on this trip. Wow. Wooden flip flops. Yeah, in Brazil this would be bad because the, the moms hit the kids with the flip flops. <laughs> but this would be like a pain. That would be a knockout. Mm -hmm. Look at that one. Yeah, you could definitely clobber someone with that. This one looks a bit more... Oh no, that's pretty tough too. 
Yeah, they like their their hard flip flops. So I think you gotta take your shoes off <laughs> to go inside. Wow, really cool. I've actually been in a restaurant before, a Japanese restaurant that had tables like that. It's like your feet go underground. Yeah. Not sure what else is in here. Even the woods around here look amazing. The mystical woods. Yeah, some pretty cool trees. Wonder what kind of trees those are. There's a little shrine back there. Definitely a good location for a shrine. They even have the traditional Japanese doggo house. But no doggo. I love Japan. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm like so in love with this place already. We keep repeating that in every video. We're going to be going to other places like this, uh, like surrounded by nature, towns. That's the plan. So yeah, it's just going to get better and better, I think. Time to do some sake tasting. No, the shit is much better than cachaça. Strong. I, I think it is, yeah. I, I think it is, yeah. Not yet. I much love cacachasa. I think it's pretty really strong. Yeah. 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 I'll try it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you drink everything? Yeah, I wasn't okay. supposed to. I don't know, but it's quite strong to do that. So it was an amazing day overall, really happy with the tour that my parents chose. Yeah, and we just like the idea of the tingly gift overall. That's something that we actually struggle with since we're traveling full time and we're away from family and friends. We're often not really able to get like nice presents for people and people are often not able to buy stuff for us because we're not physically there. But we'll definitely be using this again because we can just either send them the e-voucher or even get the physical box sent to their address so it's a really good idea and as we mentioned at the start in the video description below there is more information with our discount code so definitely use that to get the ten dollars off if you like this video just drop a like as usual to support us subscribe to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and we'll see you in the next one Bye.